Hey pro friends, it's Gigi. And this video, we have some not so frilly things to go over with you. It's our new order from LBCC Historical, including restock items and then some new items. This one's really for you vintage lovers or cosmetics lovers or historical reenactors. I know a lot of um, cosplay and uh, historical reenactors who know LBCC products well because they are historical reproduction cosmetics. Um, so not just inspired by uh, yesteryear, but really like true to the recipe, um, unless of course there's something dangerous uh, in the original recipe, because occasionally that was the case. Um, Alicia always omits those ingredients, obviously, and, and uses a different safe substitute. Um, but the neat thing, one of the big things I love about LBCC Cosmetics as well is because the original recipes, um, they're usually very low ingredients and very natural ingredients, um, which is really neat. So you might notice my hair looks a little different today. Um, that's because I used the pink hair powder on my hair today. Now, it doesn't look especially pink unless you look at the little gray patches I have because my hair is so dark. I think it will look um, much pinker or a little bit pinker. It will look significantly pinker on somebody with lighter colored hair um, for sure. I'm just opening it. I also used it as my blush today because you can use this as a blush and I quite liked it as a blush. It's quite um, peachy pink and very subtle but very buildable. I tried to uh, use a few different LBCC products today in my look um, and I'll talk more about that after so I'm just trying to carefully open this. So that's the pink hair powder. I know Mr. Gigi had said, oh, I've heard the phrase uh, powdered wigs. Well, that's exactly what, what this is. It's, it would have been used on wigs. It would have been used on your regular hair as well. Yeah, so you can see it's quite a pale pink color. And it's, you can also see it's quite a large tan. So it's pretty great, especially if you uh, want to use it for, for mainly blush. I mean, this will last you like five years. I don't know. Um, we're going to see this is my own personal tin now and I'm going to play with it more um, trying to focus on my grace next time. Um, though I do like the effect, it's just uh, not very pink on dark hair so keep that in mind. I only got actually a few of these because I wanted to try it. Um, so if you are very interested to try the pink hair powder, it's also uh, it's $25 for this giant tin. Um, another reason why we love LBCC here is their fantastic price points, um, especially considering everything is handmade by Alicia and her husband uh, in Wisconsin. Um, and again, going back to simple ingredients, so this has uh, starch, it's corn starch, I asked, uh, organic rose petals, Bulgarian rose essential oil, and iron oxide for, for color. So yeah, so super simple. Um, so that's the hair powder, brand new. Another new powder is the Woodland Enchanted Alluring Dark and Mysterious Scent that adds a bit of charm from an enchanted world. It's a body powder that just sounded too lovely. I thought um, a few of you would really like this body powder and the idea of smelling like an enchanted forest. So there's that. You can Obviously, you can use it all over the body or just... Um, as a deodorizer. I'm sure you could also put a little in your hair as a dry shampoo. Um, yeah, so that's another new product from LBCC. Uh, what else is new? Oh, how could I forget? What I was most excited about, this is my own, by the way, <laughs> I'm keeping this because it is a violet flower hair pomade. So I love violet, some of you might know that. And I use hair pomade pretty frequently, uh, always LBCC. Um, and the pomade is actually necessary for using the hair powder. You have to use some of the pomade so that the hair powder has something to stick to. Um, it's a nice, 
kind of semi-firm pomade, um, perfect for, you know, slicking any flyaways, for creating shape. Um, yeah, it's a classic hair pomade. The texture is will be very familiar uh, to you, I'm sure, for anybody who's used pomade before. So it's uh, beeswax, lard, jojoba, orris root is what gives a little bit of the violet scent and perfume. Um, and it smells divine. It smells like mm, sweet, sweet violets. So there's the new violet hair pomade. Um, and then the, oh, we have two more brand new items for us. Um, so we've got the orange cold cream, which is more of a true cold cream. So it's like a classic cold cream, um, meaning that you can use it as a moisturizer. You can also use it as a cleanser to remove makeup. Um, this is what women historically used to cleanse their faces, remove their makeup, and then again to moisturize. Um, cold cream has made kind of a comeback in recent years. And I, for one, really love the orange flower scent. We have, um, we've had orange flower hair pomade. We have the orange flower, um, like uh, flower water, the eau de toilette, if you will. Uh, we stock that regularly because so many of you love it too. Um, so this, I am gonna keep a jar of this. I could not resist. Oh, it smells so good. It does remind me a little bit of the clay cold cream, but um, definitely a lot softer scent wise. And again, this has organic beeswax, jojoba, almond oil, orange flower water, gum of benjamin, jasmine oil, and orange oil. So um, very natural, really beautiful product. This is $27 for a huge jar. Um, that you can use, again, as a cleanser, as a makeup remover, as a face moisturizer. You can also use it as a body moisturizer. Why not? Um, I know I will try that. So that's new, the Orange Flower Cold Cream. And then the other new product I brought in because so many of you love uh, Besame's Cake Mascara. And when I saw LBCC was doing her version it was too um, exciting to not bring it in. And it's so cute. Look at how tiny it is. I love how tiny it is. And I love the little label, it's so pretty. It's one of those little slide tins. Um, it's adorable. It comes with a little tiny spoolie. You can of course use your own spoolie if you have one you prefer. She says it's fantastic as a mascara. It takes a little bit of getting used to and we'll include um, those tips and tricks in our description. Um, and it's fantastic for brows too. Not recommended as a liner um, because of uh, the soap ingredient, which might sting the eye a little bit. It won't cause any damage, but it might sting if used as an eyeliner. Um, but it's fantastic as a mascara. And if you like a, a deep, dark, black eyebrow, you can use it to uh, color your eyebrows too. So that's the final new item. Actually, that's not true. We also brought in powder puffs, adorable powder puffs. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the mascara is only $15. Um, this powder puff is also $15. So yeah, kind of indulgent, but it's really cute and if you look after it, you know, wash it, air dry it, you can use this again and again. So the body powder, for instance, and the hair powder, for instance, don't come with powder puffs, um, but you might like to apply them with powder puffs. And if you don't have one, you can now purchase these pinup perfect, cute little pink fluffy ones at Gigi's. Um, we also restocked uh, the very popular a rouge that perfectly, or no, it's a rouge that exactly imitates nature. I thought I had one of these at home because it is something I usually regularly use, but I only have another liquid rouge by LBCC right now in my home. So anyways, um, this is exactly what it looks like, except a rouge that exactly imitates nature is a much darker, deeper red. And it really does look like if you took crushed rose petals and smeared them on your cheeks or your lips. It's stunning. It's a beautiful product. Um, if you've 
been in the shop and before times um, and asked about any of the liquid rouges, you probably remember me gushing about liquid rouge. I love liquid rouge. It It's amazing. Like you put it on your cheeks uh, with a bit of cotton or your fingertip and pat it in and it literally temporarily dyes your skin until you wash off with regular cleanser later. It is, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And it, it goes on like beautifully pigmented, but still sheer. Yeah, Liquid Rouge, where it's at, love it. So we restocked the ex Rouge Exactly Imitates Nature, which is uh, the most popular of our Liquid Rouges. We also restocked Violet Water, which again, this one's for me. Oh God, our Violet Water is so good. It literally smells like Violet Candies. Like it's so delicious and sweet. So we sell these just as is. You can buy a spray top separately if you need one, or you can reuse if you've already had one, um, or maybe you're not gonna spray it. Maybe you're just gonna pour a bit in your bath or splash it on yourself, which is uh, totally suitable as well. So we restocked the violet flower water. We also restocked the orange blossom flower water because that's our other very popular scent. Um, and speaking of violets, we restocked the massage cream, which is really awesome. I love this product. It says here, the superiority of this cream consists in its wonderful skin and muscle soothing properties. And it really is soothing as somebody who uh, often has sore uh, back or uh, skin issues. I love the violet massage cream. I really do. And again, it smells like Mm, it smells like a like a violet cream puff. Like it's so yummy smelly. Um, and again, a very popular product for us. So that's been restocked. And we restocked the fabulous 1930s cold cream, which the last shipment was our first time carrying this product. And you all loved it so much. I bought more this time um, because this is not a traditional cold cream. It's actually a clay face mask and it's amazing it smells this is my own personal one. Oh gosh it's so fragrant um deliciously fragrant and it works really really well my favorite um thing to do with this particular product is slather on a nice layer before a bath and take a bath let it sit on my face while I'm having my bath and then I can just use a face cloth in the bath and remove it in the bath. And it's very low mess that way. It's very relaxing because the scent is so beautiful. Um, and because it has clay, it really does um, tighten the pores, clean, clean the skin. Your skin looks and feels gorgeous after. Um, I've used this little jar. It's a beautiful, all, all, all of them are beautiful glass or tin. Um, jars and containers but I really love this one like I leave it out in my bathroom because it's so great looking yeah I use this I'm gonna say probably 10 times maybe more I think you could easily get 10 to 15 applications out of a jar and the jar is $30 so I think that's very reasonable it works out to less than those one-time use masks and um it's less waste and it's frankly more effective um yeah, so we've restocked the 1930s cold cream clay mask and we got in so many new goodies from LBCC for you. Um, oh, and my lips, I did end up putting on a little bit of lipstick. I put on a little bit of Carmine from Basime and then I um, patted it and blotted it and then I sheared it out with a little bit of my liquid rouge just to kind of like cool it down because um, although I love Carmine, it's a little bit warm on me. Um, so I cooled it down with a bit of the liquid rouge. So that's our new, new arrivals from LBCC Historical Cosmetics. If you have any questions about these products, um, as always, feel free to email me and I uh, can't wait to hear what you think about them. Thanks. Bye.